Hey guys, what is up? It's Total Eclipse here, and today we're starting a new full um, part series on an automatic factory build. So we're going to go from start to finish. In this video, we're going to be using XOR gates to create an entrance, similar to the last video, and we're also going to do lighting so that it uh, is it lights up as we enter the uh, the factory uh, one step at a time rather than all at once. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please like it. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. We've got so much coming up. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. So. Let's just quickly add a few of these. We need some walls. I've just realised they're half a foot shorter, aren't they? We've got the wrong bloody walls! Tom, you doofus. I swear, if you had half a brain, you would have thought about that. Right, so this is our factory ground floor. We'll probably extend it so that the top floor, or the middle floor, however high we intend to build it, covers the whole um, parameter all the way around here as well. Uh, it's just a bit of a pain. I don't want it to be stormy. Um, now, what do we want to do first? First off, we're going to need a generator. Lucky I have one here. Then we're going to build the doorway. We could actually have that as a automatic door. So we're going to grab the laser switch tripwire like we did yesterday. So I just like things neat. You do not have to do it this close if you're doing your own factory. Um, Yay! Oh wait, you don't go off when we come back down. That's strange. Right, now what I'm trying to do is just to have it so whenever we go out, the uh, tripwire does actually go off, which I think we're fine now. Yeah. Next we need a logic gate. We're going to go with the NAND logic gate, this one. And we need to add the two inputs like we did in the previous video and then place that onto here. Oh. Right, okay, so first off, we walk in and this goes on. Now we do actually need to have another tripwire on this side to switch that off. So back all the way across. Why is it right at the end? Okay, you need to come off. So when we walk through, switches on, switches off. Perfect. Okay, so that is simple. Uh, then we have this one connected to another NAND switch, which will power the lights. Now for this one, this needs to actually be connected to the Oh, 
no, 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 no. Oh dear. There we are. Now, really doesn't matter which one we connect it to. Um, but we do need a ceiling for this. Right, so as you can see, we've now got the um, all the floors added um, above us, the ceiling essentially for the lights. Uh, we're going to add, actually we need to add, oh, not a storm. Well, now it's sunny, but it's uh, getting dark. So we're gonna have to add some lights. Now what we want, Oh, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult, and I've only just realised. I want it on a delayed switch, but the problem is... They're all going to come on at the same time. Aren't they? Wow, I do not think things through sometimes. Now this is where the problem's going to lie. We put lights up. Are you not working? Are you out of range? Interesting. Okay, so you're radiating. It's about that kind of distance. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. So, here we have the radiator which will connect to the first group of lights. So now this needs to connect to a switch, but not just any switch, it needs to be a delay switch. Delayed on switch. Why are you not letting me connect down here? Thank you, this as much out the way as possible. <clears throat> what a lovely morning. So, so far we have now connected an entrance and we have <clears throat> two lots of NAND switches, one specifically for this. The next one is going to be for the power. Now, what we're doing here is we are connecting this, uh, I should probably mention, here we have two power uh, line cables and a radiator. The radiator is what we need to switch on these lights. Now because I want the lights to come on one lot at a time, I'm having to use delayed switches, which is why we've got three. So the power will go from here through to here, switch on the first load of lights, then it will connect to a delayed switch here to again exactly the same layout, just different way around. Uh, one uh, power cable here, which will switch these lights on, and then this connects to another delayed switch, which will connect and switch these lights on, um, which will start later on. Um, in fact, we can give that a go in a second. Okay. Yes, better, much better. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. What we have coming up in the next video will be, as you can see here, we have progressed a bit. We're going to be adding on this little foyer. We've also got this factory uh, in construction currently. We're, we're progressing quite quickly with it, which is nice to see. We're just trying to work it all out at the moment. And we also have a nice enclosure for the power. 
Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like it. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. We've got a whole build coming up. We're going to split it into an ammunition factory and an armor factory. And maybe, because Christmas is on its way, we'll also have a little toy factory as well. Playing around with that idea for a future video. Anyway, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.